All right, so I'm still playing around with this 50 watt solar panel from Renogy. As you can see, I've got a charge controller connected to it, and we're getting around 21 volts. It's pretty well in the sun, although it is through a window. So, first thing I did just for giggles is connect this 1000 watt inverter to it. And there's absolutely no protection circuitry inside this solar panel, so it immediately threw an overvoltage warning. So, um, I'm not going to cut the connectors off of this thing to connect to this solar panel just for the sake of messing around. So I've got a battery here. Plug it into the USB on this. It says we're getting... Uh, 20.8 volts in we're putting out seven and a half we are charging at 0.4 watts yeah let me see if I got a better uh, USB cable all right I got a uh, orange tip USB cable Slap that in there. It says we're getting 20.6 volts in and seven and a half out. We're now charging at 0.9 watts. <laughs> and according to this, it's going to take uh, 52 hours to recharge. That's not going to fly. Um, I'm assuming it's this charge controller. Just sucks. So maybe I'll swap that out for the buck converter. See how that works out. All right, so the entertainment continues. Um, I hooked the buck converter up to the solar charge controller on the battery output. And I wired up a USB-C cable to it. <clears throat> and ran it to this battery and I was getting like 0.8 watts or something ridiculous like that. It was going to take 100 hours to charge this. Absolutely useless. So I assumed that it's just crappy old USB connections on here. They don't put out anything for power. They're not going to charge your typical cell phone nowadays. So I tried the... Uh, light connection which is really kind of just like an overflow and uh the boost converter wouldn't run the buck converter wouldn't run so i hooked this all back up Let's see if i can hold this with one hand twenty volts What's the purpose of a solar charge controller if it's going to put out 20 volts? <laughs> it's putting out what it's getting in. Um, so if I try to hook an inverter directly up to it, it just over overvolts it. But if I connect the buck converter directly to it, I can't get anything out of it. <laughs> uh, so I guess I really am going to have to hook a battery up to this and just see what it does. Before I can actually do anything. It's, uh, I'm, I'm getting the feeling that there's not really uh, circuitry inside here and it's just a direct connection to the solar panel. It's uh, a little interesting. But, um, I think I got this thing off of Timu for like five bucks, so shouldn't really be a surprise, but all the issues I've had trying to set up this solar node, it may be that, uh, this was the problem all along. <laughs> oh well. Uh, I'll keep messing around. Alright, so got 20 volts coming in. Connected a barrel jack up. 
to the battery output. Nineteen and a half volts coming out. This is a twelve volt battery here. Nine to twelve point six volts, three amp at max. Charge voltage, twelve point six volts. So like I can't even use this. How how is this a charge controller? If it's just putting out the exact same amount of voltage as it gets in. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but then I hook it up. Now it says it's getting 10.7 volts in. And this is not giving an over voltage warning. In fact, it's tar hard to tell if it's even charging. <laughs> I think I'm probably going to have to buy another charge controller. Um... I'm going to let this sit for a while and see if uh, we hit three bars on this battery. But I think we've established that the reason my solar node wouldn't work before is this stupid piece of junk. So, yeah, interesting. Just for reference, here's my actual MPP, M MPPT charge controller. Much more expensive. Uh... I got a number of 12 volt panels coming into this. It says right now it's 19 volts. What do we got? Only 13 coming out. So, it's uh, pretty interesting. I mean, there's much more power coming into this, but only 13 volts coming out. Yeah, I think uh, I think we can safely say the charge controller I've been trying to use is an absolute piece of junk. <laughs>